All right, you guys, we got this thing uncovered, and Tyler said this is heavy. It doesn't budge, huh? Not easy? No. Can we do it here, then? Yep. All right, so you guys, we've been trying. Wait, wait, let's wait just a sec. Let's get the anticipation. Oop, see little stuff peeking out. Oh, it's jam-packed. All right, you guys, we've been waiting for this one. I knew right when I bought it, I wanted to see what was in there. All right, you ready? One, two, three. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought two units at the auction because I was curious to find out why had these units been up for auction three times already? Why did the owner pay to keep them twice before? These have been the best lockers of my career so far with awesome finds of safes, cash, jewelry, and lots of vintage toys. And the best part is we're still going through it. Let's see what we find today. All right, me and Tyler are back at the unit. It's been two weeks, right, yep. since we were here last. And uh, why is that? I don't know. <laughs> I've been working. He's, yeah, he's got an internship he just started. It's pretty exciting. And I don't know what I've been doing. I've been going to auctions and other units, I guess. Making your videos. Making videos. That's it. Editing takes a long time. This is how we left it last time. I was kind of hoping it would look better. But it doesn't. But it doesn't look worse. No. <laughs> I don't know if it could look worse, but we know there's good stuff in there. As ugly as it is, there's good stuff in there. So we stuffed all the junk back in, trash, trash, and then the furniture. So we're going to get that out. We're going to build a, tr a dump load today. And uh, But we're what we're really trying to get to is that trunk right there. I think you guys want to see what's in there. And uh, that's the goal today is to get the stuff out around it so we can pull that out and uh, open it and see what goodies have in it. Right? You ready to get started? Yep. All right. Okay, so we're cleaning this thing out. And in the back here, there's this plastic bag with this box, hand-painted jewelry box. Jewelry box in there, but listen, <laughs> that's that sounds pretty good. You want to open it? Let's see what's in there. I mean, they did some weird stuff here, putting away a full jewelry box in the box. Wouldn't surprise me. Good though. Hmm. Oh, what? Where is it coming from there? Huh, I guess it was just that. That was really misleading. That's. Didn't that sound like jewelry? Yeah. I guess it was just the styrofoam. Huh. Oh well. All right. Found this little box here. We got some comics. That's good, huh? Yeah. Mm. Gamer magazines and toy magazines, but here's some comics. So what's that? What's that? I don't even see a price on it. Hmm. Cool. X-Men, x Factor. It's not super old stuff, but good titles. That old mag um Oh, 1988, how funny. Um, that's when I graduated high school. Some gamer magazines, Star Wars. It's not bad. Yeah, that's kind of cool. What is that? That's cool. It's like a Star Wars comic book, but... Is it from Japan or something? Korea? I don't know. All right, we knocked the boxes down here. It's all food items and garbage mostly. But we got this out. It has a fog cabinet. All right, and the bottom's locked. So, and the top's what, jammed? Yeah. But then look what's behind it. We got some vintage electronics here. Some audio videos, audio stuff. Let's see. This is RCA. Let's put this uh, RCA. Uh, that's interesting. Take a look at that. What's that right there? <laughs> it's another trunk. That's very interesting. Ooh, there's an old microwave right there. That's we have old. this trunk to go through. Yeah, we almost got this trunk out. Maybe we should get to that. One more, and it's just <laughs> bent and open. What do you see in there? Just files? Yeah, there's some cards. Oh. Some money cards? 
I don't know. Come on, you nail him. We've been going through, we've been finding a lot of cards, but they're all like grandma's cards. Valentine's Day and birthday and stuff. Yep. No money cards. I think usually it's grandma giving the kids and grandkids money, not vice versa. These are two Brian. That's Brian, though. That's the kid. Yeah. We should check those. Bottom drawer is empty. Gonna pop this one open. And this kind of stuff we're finding right here. All right, we pulled this bin down, and this one looks kind of interesting. Got some good stuff right here. Oh, this is sealed. That one's sealed, huh? Stroh of Echoes, not really this good. This is sealed. Hearts War. The uh, Full Metal Jacket, is that what that is? Yep. That's a great movie. Have you seen that? No, I've not. That movie is just disturbing, but that's it's an amazing movie. Prestige is okay. Ultraviolet, me. Blu ray is good, though. But here's PS3 sealed. Never opened. Star Star Wars The Force Unleashed. I think that's a decent game. Tupac, that'll sell. Tupac's pretty popular. Um, two more PS3s. Ultimate Edition and Limited Edition. Those are good ones. Assassin's Creed. And we got some PS2. Alright. Found some of his video games. Fight Night. Fight Night's good. Infamous. Nice one. Yeah, I've had these before. Solid. I've come across all these games. That, I mean, like that Metal Gear Solid. They're not valuable. Oh, Red Dead. I wonder if that's valuable. Red Dead's pretty popular still, isn't it? Yeah. It just came out with Red Dead 2, I think. So this is good, huh? PS3? Mm -hmm. PS2? Mm -hmm. Not bad. Uh, this thing here, Sony Bravia. This is an older one. It's an older one. It's probably 30 bucks, maybe 20. Not that much. But it's still good. It's still good fine. It's easy to sell. We got the remote. That helps. <coughs> I want to say I know someone that was looking for a TV. Yeah. But I don't know who, so. We're making a den here. All right? Yep. Showing the. Our, our efforts are showing now. Before, we couldn't even tell. We found a couple of cool things though. This is our trash pile here. It's getting pretty big. Uh, found this old, it's very dirty, but this old, I'm not gonna touch it, it's a people game. And it's still sealed. The corner's tore off, but it's never been opened. It's people, it's from 1984. And then, we found this old uh, clock, this burl clock, it's pretty cool. But one of the corners got chipped off. See right that? But I think we can glue that back on. Um, that's a beautiful piece. That's gross. Oh. <laughs> that's old, huh? Old SD Lauder kit. That's pretty sweet. I'll look that up on eBay. You never know. Hmm. It's got a good look to it. I mean, it needs to be cleaned up. There's definitely a bag in there. Alright, we'll go for it. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> Marijuana. Right? No, that's tobacco. Yeah. Hmm. That's garbage. 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 That's a little. Bu oh, that's good. That's good. Is that the Americana? Which Miss Liberty series? That's really good. Look at that. Oh yeah. 1943. That's pretty good. Oh, this that's looks good. Penny right there. Looks like there could be more. Oh, this is a good little drawer right here. Eternity for men. Alright. He's got his little address book, all his girlfriends, huh? <laughs> He's quite the player. What's that? I'm not sure. Like a little pen or something, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. That's in good condition. Hmm. x lax That's fun with that. <laughs> Probably for the grandpa. Here's yeah. another phone. <laughs> <coughs> grandpa needs to keep his drawers a little cleaner. Checks. 
chiggity check. Some good clippers. Another address book. It's not used. Oh yeah? Ooh, it might be a dollar. We gotta be careful with this. This is the kind of drawer like I saw when it I went in the first dresser. Mm -hmm. It would be a junk drawer like this, and then right here would be a whole bunch of things stacked, envelopes. And that's where I found cash in this in this locker. I found cash too. It would be just like that. Oh, not that one. Ooh, that is what right here. That's a bank envelope that they put cash in when you withdraw it. That's like the one I just posted this morning uh -huh. where I found cash. It was in one just like that. Or this one. You guys took a lot of cash out of the bank. All these empty envelopes. Hmm. Look at that. That's 1943. That's pretty good. Oh, I don't think it's worth that much, but. 1908, 1907, 1913, and 1890. Oh, that's good. That's the Indian penny? penny? Yeah. That's good. That's all we got out of that whole drawer here. And none of it's really worth anything except for the coins but we got one more drawer let's see what we got this looks good all right we're gonna speed things up here a bit because we don't pull out too much interesting items out of this until the very end the first drawer was a little bit more interesting but this is typical old guy stuff um, I think the the man had passed away some time ago and I don't think anyone's gone through the drawer since this guy's old school huh yeah polished the shoes smoked pipe tobacco I did find a really nice pipe in the other locker and uh, ooh, that's cool it's an old pipe I found a, it was like a Sherlock Holmes pipe, and it was brand new in the box. Oh, what's that? It's nice. It's got a brand on there. Aldo Valani, Chianti. Huh. Definitely gonna put that side. Chianti. That's like a wine. I wonder if they made the pipe out of a wine barrel wood or something. It's a nice screwdriver. Ooh. Come on, I'm wishful thinking right now. Easter, mate. Another chance. Stamps. Hey, there's some money. Those are worth the what? The, that they're worth this much. However, that is twenty first-class stamps. It's worth about ten bucks right there. All right, that looks like about it, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys, we got this thing uncovered, and Tyler said this is heavy. It doesn't budge, huh? Not easy? No. Can we do it here, then? Yep. All right. So, you guys, we've been trying. Wait, wait. Let's wait just a sec. Let's get the anticipation. Oop. See little stuff peeking out. Oh, it's jam-packed. All right, you guys, we've been waiting for this one. I knew right when I bought it, I wanted to see what was in there. So, here it is, the moment you've been right waiting for. Should we do it on three? Yep. Because the viewers love that. I get hate comments now. All right, you ready? One, two, three. All right, bags. Not the uh, wow factor right off the bat, but we're not gonna judge it that quickly. Actually, bags are good for the flea market. Let's hope it's not all bags. I'll take bags of money. Mickey Mouse. Actually, that's decent. That's a couple bucks. Blanket. Blanket? Oh. That's a dollar. Oh boy, is this all bags for reals? This one. They're all like empty envelopes, huh? Yeah. They like save their used envelopes. Yeah. What in the world would you save this many bags for? Well, the truck's not too bad. The trunk will sell. Oh, there's some clothing. There's some aprons. Aprons? Okay, we're getting a little... A little... Or are they tote bags? Oh, they're aprons, huh? 
shirts. Is that a binder? Yeah. What the heck? It's Berkeley. All right, I think it's gonna get better. I think that looks better. Oh, there's some diplomas. That's good, right? We got some high school diplomas. That means they're keeping the good stuff here. Or you could just say they're keeping stuff here. Yeah, they're keeping their personal stuff. I don't know if it's good. It's just stuff. Uh, we'll get that back to them, people. Don't worry. The high school diplomas go back to the office. Sure is. They call the owners and uh, allow them to come and pick it up for free if they want it. There's some 49er stuff that'll sell. Always sell out the flea market. More bags, huh? We're back to the bags. Where's uh, Grandma's jewelry? Where's their silver collection? Hmm. <laughs> Photographs. Remember, I said that's where I keep my wedding album. Is in my trunk at the bottom of my bed. Yeah. That's probably what that is. Nothing interesting here. Some clothes. High school. Yeah. Not sure. Okay. Yeah, it's high school. Hmm. De Anza? Powder Puff. Well, that's funny. We're going to De Anza College for the flea market next week. <laughs> 49ers? Yep. There's a few bucks. And Raiders. Raiders. They didn't discriminate. They like the Raiders and the 49ers. Motor belt. Trunk of lamp. A whip. Hmm. That's a weird thing. Husband to trainer. What is it? Oh my goodness, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Don't get any ideas, Jana, if you're watching. A lot of stuff from his college, I think, huh? Yeah. They kept just about everything, and I'm not complaining because they kept the good stuff with the bad. So we just got to sort through the bad. Bad meaning no value. What's that, dude? They're magnets. Oh, a little refrigerator magnet. It's kind of cool. Probably souvenirs. They seem to be well traveled. They definitely had some money. Beverage. Oh, it's a tea. Tea. I think so. Tea bags. Tea bags. I went to England and brought back tea bags <laughs> as a souvenir. That's funny. Hey, that's nice. That's if it's like Fendi or something. Paris. Yep, looks like a souvenir. All right, so unfortunately we didn't film this part because we didn't expect to find anything. But if you see in the back corner, that stack of paperwork and the binders. Yeah, I went over that over the garbage can and did find something pretty interesting. Now we just found these... Uh... This envelope right here says Prince, President, Delta, etc. And uh, there's President Obama and Michelle Obama right there. And I don't know who these people are. This might be our guy right there because this shot right here is a close-up of him. There's another shot with a close-up of him. With him centered. So uh, there's a chance that's one of the boys that owned it. And I, I say boys because there's two of them. Yeah, they're twins. But I don't know. I don't recognize him from some of the other photos. But there's two of them. And they're not identical twins. So, but that's pretty interesting. Next to the president, that's cool. All right, we found those photos. I'm gonna get those back to them. But also, we found this uh, paper here with Obama. And come to think of it, earlier on, going through these lockers, we did find some letters from Obama's office to the grandma. And I just thought they were form letters. My wife thought they might be something better. But uh, now I'm starting to think that, no, maybe these guys were politically connected. All right, you guys, so pretty exciting, right? I mean, there wasn't a lot of big ticket items coming out of that trunk, but there definitely was a story to it. And um, I'll tell you, just today I was at the flea market. I took that trunk out, and a lot of the stuff sold, like the t-shirts and things, the souvenirs that came out. I don't think we sold any magnets, but I don't think we ever took them out of the bag. But a lot of the items sold, but not for a lot of money. 
Um, they were low dollar, two dollar items, and a lot of it we gave away at the end. So, uh, not a lot of value, but definitely some interest there. So, there's a connection with the Obamas and this family, and I don't know how deep or strong that connection is, but there's something there. Because how many people get their picture taken with the, with an ex president? Not very many, right? It's special. That's very interesting. And if you remember earlier, we cracked open that safe. There was a letter in there, and the next day when I was going through the aftermath, I showed it. Let me play that clip for you real quick. I have a whole bunch of mail here. Some of the stuff coming from the Obamas. Oops. Yeah, so that um, that was a letter from the Obamas to this family. I just figured it was probably a form letter, something to do with campaign contribution. Uh, I didn't really think much of it, but the fact that it's in the safe means that it was important to them, right? Because they wanted to keep it. It was something valuable to them, even though it didn't have much value. Same thing with this photograph. It was in this trunk with some other very personal papers, such as high school diplomas and things. So it was something that they did cherish. And um, I think that's cool. You know, that is cool. So um, I hope you guys like that story. Not a lot of other value came out of the locker on this particular episode, but I did sell the Star Wars game, $34 on eBay. And I'll tell you, because it was sealed, the PS3 game, it was sealed, you don't really have to take photographs. You just scan the barcode and eBay will plug in a stock photo because with a new product, you don't have to worry about explaining the condition. You don't have to photograph any flaws. It's good to go. It's brand new. So um, we listed that. It took 30 seconds. And I think a day or two later, it sold. I priced it cheap, 34 bucks including shipping. And uh, shipping was probably about five bucks. I think it was like four or something. Uh, not too terribly expensive to ship. And nice little profit, not big money. The pipe, that is listed right now for 20 bucks. I usually don't like listing items that low on eBay. But you know what, that little pipe, it's only part of the pipe. The part, uh, the bowl, the part that goes in the mouth is missing. I don't know how easy that is to replace, but it's made in Italy, and I could tell it was a higher quality item. I just would hate to bring that to the flea market and sell it for a dollar or two, or maybe even give it away at the end of the day. Something like that's just a little bit, I think, more special. So um, on the eBay, it went. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up if you like this sort of thing, if you like what we do. We really appreciate it. Also, the subscribe button. If you haven't done that yet, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button. That's going to let you know when we have future videos coming out, including the next episode, which we'll probably have out very soon, likely tomorrow. Okay, so thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. All right, you guys, we are in my garage. I just wanted to point something out. What's that hiding over there? That's a trunk. That's the trunk from the unit, the second trunk. We didn't see it yet. And you're not going to see it on the next video. You're going to see it on the one after that. But you know what makes it to my garage? Only the good stuff. A little spoiler.